everybody and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be my get the look video for Olivia Palermo. I asked you guys for suggestions in my previous get the look video which was Negan Mirsalehi. If you haven't yet then go and check it out. I will link it above. Um, so I asked for suggestions and you guys said you would like to see Olivia Palermo. I did a poll on my Instagram stories as well and the vast majority of you said Olivia Palermo so I picked out a couple of outfits which was quite hard actually to narrow it down to a couple I took more of the basic type outfits and recreated those just for more everyday wear so the first one I did was this awesome denim outfit that she did um, I think she did this in spring so I had to switch it up a little bit for winter although it's starting to warm up now finally um, I did that by adding some combat boots which you can see here instead of the platform brogues that she has on and I just took my um, chambray shirt that I had in my closet and I'm sure many of you if not most most of you will have something like this in your closet so I've had this forever it's from Zara I got it like six years ago I think I just added this to my favorite pair of jeans I went for a mid wash tone because that does give it a little bit more of a spring feeling I feel also I didn't do skinny jeans like she did I did um, my mom ish vintage type of jeans because that's just the look that I prefer for this and then I added a big pair of sunnies which she is wearing I threw my hair up in a bun and um, I have a bag from Boo that is very similar to hers but not really but kind of the shape so I grabbed that and I just layered a bomber over my um, arm for the purpose of the photo she has a blue one that matches sort of her color scheme it's very monochromatic outfit um, I don't have a blue bomber jacket I have a silver one so I grabbed that because I didn't want to run out and buy a million new things just to shoot this video and the point of these videos is to show you guys how you can recreate your favorite celebrity sort of with more of the style inspo instead of copying them exactly <laughs> okay for my second outfit I chose something that she wore to an event but I don't think it's like a super eventy type outfit I definitely think it's something that you could wear in your everyday life as you can see here so I have similar items in my closet which is obviously why I chose this picture also I just really like this look um, so I grabbed this little safari blouse that I have from Zara that I've also had for like five or six years something ridiculous like that I chose this because it's a light weight material and easier to tuck in and then I just layered a black turtleneck under it exactly the same as she has in this picture and I have this awesome pair of leather pants from H&M so I chose to pair that with the outfit they aren't the wide-legged culotte style ones that she has but I still think it's a very similar vibe to the one she's wearing and um, yeah if you don't have a pair of leather pants then you could of course just add your favorite pair of black skinny jeans or whatever that would work as well for this outfit and then I added my favorite pair of heels which you can do too mine are the ones from Sasha with a chain on the front very Gucci inspired um, but yeah that sort of completed the look and that's how I recreated this look here into that okay moving on to look number three and this one is the one that is the most extra it's quite like a bougie outfit I think um, I wasn't able to recreate it exactly like she did because I don't have a um, uh, solid fur coat I just have ones with multiple colors so I grabbed my shaggy um, vest cardigan thing from Bershka instead it's this one I just thought that it had a similar vibe because it's also this oversized type of look I layered a sheer blouse under it with a print this one is black and white with a protea print on it I believe and it's also from Zara also all these are all items I already had in my closet and because she's got a two-toned look going on with the maroon and uh, the purple purple and maroon because she's got a two-toned look but I don't have the same colors in my closet to get a similar vibe I went with black and white which I think most of you will have in your closet as well if not the idea of this outfit is just combining two colors um, so I went for black and white as I said and I grabbed this white pair of trousers that I had so I did white trousers mesh top and then the um, furry furry shaggy type cardigan thing and then I just added my little loafers that are from Zara and black as well 
By the way, I will try and link all the items that I'm showing you down below and otherwise I will link similar things that I have found on the web. Moving on to number four, I purchased some stuff for this outfit I have to be honest actually one thing in particular I saw this outfit this was the first one that I saw and I loved it so much and I knew I wanted to re recreate this one but it is quite a specific look even though I think you can get away with a different skirt I just love the combination of this camel brownie color with this white and black striped skirt um, so I happen to find one which is almost if not exactly the same this one is from mango they have it right now it's in stock i will link it down below and then i have this um, brown little turtleneck from itchy which is new but i did not buy it for the purpose of this video um, i just wanted a brown um, knit or sweater this is such an easy look to recreate if you have a camel or a brown sweater and a asymmetrical skirt or a midi length skirt of any sort i think you can um, recreate this look very easily and then i just added some black ankle booties as well as she is wearing the same thing okay we have arrived at the last the fifth and final look and it is this beautiful look with striped pants let me tell you i could not for the life of me find a sweater without sleeves that wasn't like budget breaking so what i did was i actually have had recently uh, purchased a pair of similar trousers from stradivarius so i have these they are black with a red and white stripe as you can see very similar to hers although i think hers are a little bit more sporty and these really are more trousers um, but yeah very similar and then i have this little olive green dark green type of a mock neck shirt so i added that to the look because she's obviously wearing the same um, color turtleneck and then to get sort of the same vibe with the sleeves i just added a white button down under my mock neck and then i rolled up the sleeves slightly as you can see over here and i threw on a pair of pointy um, heeled booties because i feel like her style is so feminine and super sophisticated at all times even when she's wearing like a sporty pair of pants like this um yeah so i think i recreated it like all right i think it's a similar vibe let me know what you think down below let me know what you thought of all the outfits down below and that was the final one i do have to say that this was way harder for me than the negan one because i feel like olivia's style is very specific as i said already and she has a lot of intricate very detailed pieces that um that aren't that easy to come by so yeah i really had to search for the right pictures that i could recreate or get a similar recreation with things that i already had in my closet um, but yeah i didn't want to go out and run out and buy all sorts of new stuff for the purpose of this video because the whole purpose of these videos for me is to show you guys that you can recreate your favorite celebrity or influencer style with things that you already have in your closet and also for me i think it's a fun exercise to be able to shop my closet and get new inspiration with the pieces i do have to say that i didn't feel really comfortable in olivia's outfits because they differ so much from my own style that i didn't really feel like myself so um yeah not my style definitely olivia's style but i did really enjoy creating this video for you guys and making it and i always love playing with fashion so i hope you love this video as much as i love making it or we love making it and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys